I actually came to medicine a bit later. I did a PhD, I did a bit of law, but I was always interested in the human body. For me, something like melanoma, which is Australia's cancer, it was one place where I felt maybe I could make a difference with others. The turnover was huge. People, I'd meet them and they would die within a year. And, and so this was an opportunity to make a difference. I'm a pathologist by training. I came into the field in the late 1990s. I came to work in Sydney and at the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital. The melanoma unit was attached to the hospital. I could see there was an opportunity to really have a big impact. And I think even more than that, a responsibility. We have so many patients. As Georgina said, it's Australia's national cancer. We've got the highest incidence anywhere in the world. We get about 16,000 patients who get melanoma. So one Australian will be diagnosed every 30 minutes. An Australian dies about every six hours. Prevention is better than cure. It's Public Health 101. I was thinking I'd like to talk to you, Georgina, the patients who've got a, a melanoma spread around their body. What you in particular, but our team has discovered over the last 10 or 15 years has been an absolute game changer in melanoma, but in all cancers, led by the work that you've done in, in melanoma. So I'm a medical oncologist. I treat melanoma with drug therapies. When I first started in this field around 15 years ago, there was nothing once the melanoma had spread. I actually remember as a medical student going onto the oncology ward and meeting lots of melanoma patients. A lot of them were young, sick, thin, couldn't eat, were dying, and the melanoma was everywhere and it was just, just the most awful feeling and scene. There was just so much that needed to be done. It was the cancer you did not want to get. It was an absolute universal death sentence once it had spread. That's completely changed. We always knew that melanoma in particular had a very weird relationship with one's own immune system if you had a melanoma. In the early skin melanomas, when you were first diagnosed with one, immune cells were sometimes seen within that melanoma, suggesting that the immune system is mounting its own response against the melanoma, that was a clue. We noticed um, that there were these few cases where patients' melanoma would just disappear. They'd be diagnosed with melanoma that had gone to the lung, biopsy proven, and then three to six months later, it just disappeared on its own, no intervention. Very rare, about one in a thousand, but it happened. So we always knew that melanoma was a bit special that way. And for 40 years, People have been doing research on how to harness that immune system. We have really toxic treatments and occasionally you'd see a response. And then it really was this, I refer to it as a penicillin moment in cancer therapy, when we actually were able to harness that immune system and do it in 50% of patients. We actually now have developed drugs that in 50% of the case cure what was a death sentence only 10, 15 years ago. I remember when we first started getting targeted therapies. These were drugs that targeted the specific mutations that were causing the cancer to grow un uh, uncontrollably. And Kefford, who was the oncologist who we worked for, came to our MDT meeting on Friday morning and his face was so different. He was so, <laughs> he was blown away. These guys have been working for 40 years, trial after trial, drug failure after drug, after failure, nothing after worked. Failure. And then jackpot, it was a game changer, yeah. ah, incredible. The glamorization of tanning and trivialization of sunburn in the social media, in advertising, affecting behaviors that we know kill. So we want this to, to stop, so we have to make an impact. So we're talking about a cultural shift to reverse this. The focus on in impacting one individual, that's fine, that feels good. But if you're not seeing volume together, then you can't make a massive impact to not only the individual in front of you, but everybody. That same discovery, we showed that these drugs worked when the melanoma had spread to the brain, and that was a huge difference as well. But again, that's all about coming together, collaborating, 
putting the patient at the centre of everything we do, having it around our multidisciplinary team, but seeing things so that you can then have an impact quickly. There's questions that we, we're still trying to, trying to solve. There's so much to be done. We see a lot of subtleties and we see a lot of common things. And with that, we have research questions. And with that, try to answer that research question. And with that, we publish a paper. It goes into the guidelines and then it goes back into the management of patients. And then we have new questions. And the cycle goes around and around and around until we have zero deaths from melanoma.